Okay, so this is the Direct TV Sports Mix channel. This channel is on 205 or 600. If I press info, you can see it. You just press the info button, you can see what channel it is, Sports Mix HD, you know, and then the information about it. So this is the exclusive channel. Nobody in the country has it but Direct TV, okay? And what it is is, it's a composition of six different channels that have that are playing live. It says the channel, and it says you know the number, as you can see on each area. The channels do change. There's usually ESPN, you know, Fox Sports One on it, but it can actually change to other channels. So, basically, what I the cool thing about this channel is that I can actually move the box with the controller, and you'll hear the, the, what the commentary. So. so I can hear boxing now. If I go up here, I can hear this new show. I can hear a commercial, and basically, what it does is it lets you view six events at one time but you can actually listen to the one that's outlined. Okay, so that's the whole thing about this that's really cool. Okay, you can see six at the same time, but you can hear what you need to hear. So I'm just gonna mute it for a little while. So that's a feature that only DirecTV has. And the other feature that's really good is when you're on this channel, the red button, it's a score guide there, you just push it when you're on the channel. Give it a second or two. After pushing the button, what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna pop up the score guide. Okay. Let me just do it one more time. We're gonna hit it both. So basically, when you're on this channel, you wait till it loads up, you press the red button for score guide, and it pops up here, as you can see, it just popped up. So now I'm on the score guide, and when you're on the score guide, you can move to the left, the yellow cursor is what's highlighted, you can go back, and you can see whatever sport's playing now this season. NBA is not there because the season just finished, right? When the NBA starts, it'll be up there. I can go to MLB, if I press select on MLB, if I choose this, it'll have what's running on MLB. I can even go by certain conferences, you know, whatever I want or all but basically you can go to anything NASCAR see you can go oh what I want to see Xfinity or you know Sprint whatever's playing or what's not playing you know so it's really it's a really good feature that we have that nobody else has okay and that's the sports mix uh, now going forward a uh, cool thing about our guide is when you press the guide button you see a guide where we're at like I said this is 205 sports mix um, you can actually go to like different channels like say if I press channel 2 that's our local channels in Hawaii Channel 2 is KHON, you know, Channel 2 News with Joe Moore. So, you highlight the channel, you'll see the num what's playing on this channel. It's 5, it's 5.28, so it's showing you 5 p.m. Once it gets to 5.30, it's not gonna show 5 o'clock anymore. But, you can actually go up to 12, uh, you can go up to 30 minute increments up to almost two weeks ahead, okay? You can go by half an hour increments, going right or left, or if I push the double arrow, I can skip 12 hours ahead. It saves a lot of time. So 5 p.m., I'm at 5 p.m. 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. If I press it one more time, I'm at 5 p.m. tomorrow. See how fast it moves? You can do that all the way two weeks ahead. So you keep going and going, and you'll see eventually it says, you know, it's not, it's um, it's to be determined when it gets too far ahead. The other feature I really like about the DirecTV control panel for the guide is when you're on the channel, you can push to the left and highlight the channel, the network. And the network is actually gonna show the number the name of the local network, KHON, and it'll tell you what it is nationwide, which is Fox, okay? Same thing if I go down, this is CW, KITV4 locally, channel four, that's actually ABC. So the local channels in every state is actually different. It's not on the channel guide because every single state has different local channels, right? If you go down here, KGMB is gonna be, you know, CBS, KHN uh, 11 and 11.2, you have two PBS options, there's actually two PBS channels, and then you, uh, KHN 13 is NBC, okay? Now, what's a cool feature also is that you can highlight the channel, like KHNL, if you press select on it, you can see what they have on demand. These are all the exclusive shows that this network uh, has, like America's Got Talent, Superstore, Blindspot. So, um, when you're connected to the internet, we're not connected now, but when you're connected to the internet, when you're at home, just like Netflix, you can actually select the show and watch a season or two back and play whatever you want on demand at no charge. Because normally you can watch it for free, right? So they're letting you watch it, you know, older seasons, catch up on stuff. Same thing, if I go guide and I go back to, um, I go to the guide and I press channel two again, I can go to Fox. Just to show another example. These are all the Fox shows, okay? Right? If I go to, say if I go to channel 231, that's Food Network. It goes to 231, it's gonna switch. If I highlight Food Network, these are all the Food Network shows, exclusive, Chop, you know, Cake Wars, Bobby Flay. So you guys probably know a lot of these shows. So that's a really cool feature. Um, the other way, you can look at stuff. If you don't wanna go by channel, which I really like, you can also press the menu button, and you can go search and browse 
um, on demand. You can just go straight to on demand. The other feature you can do is smart search. If I want to go smart search and I want to look up Walking Dead, all I do is go to type in the, the name of the show, and eventually, if you type in enough letters, it pops up. You can go to this channel here, The Walking Dead. It says it's a show, it's not a movie. You press select. And I, let's just say I didn't know what the channel of Walking Dead was on. As you can see, there's older seasons I can look up. You press select to go into it, and then it'll tell you it's AMC. So you'll see the channel it is, it's AMC, yeah? So it'll actually tell you the channel. And then you can actually go back and, you know, let's just say, what is AMC? I don't know what channel AMC is, okay? Let's just say I didn't know that. So I want to know what AMC is, so I, I could actually, let me just go back a little. Can delete the W and then put AMC. So I'll type in the name of the network now, okay? And C. And AMC for DirecTV, as you can see, it's high def on channel 254. So it's a very, very simple, user-friendly system. 254, it says right there, AMC is right there. It's 254, as you can see. And then now, I know that AMC is on 254. So I can just go here, press 254, and it goes straight to AMC. And now we're watching AMC. So it's really easy to use, you know, and that just, that just basically sums up the basics of how to use the system, the guide, okay? Sports. Okay. So if you want to see sports now, let me just show you some sports as an example. I can search and browse, go into sports. So, okay, let me just go with that real quick again. Press menu, so it's real easy to see. Press down, up, down, left, right. Search and browse, I'm on this, I press to the right, I press select on sports. So now I'm on sports, I can go by date, all sports, okay? I can go by the sport itself, specific teams or events, okay? So let's just say I go by date, go into that, I can see what's coming up. I can just go to the right, and then this is by date. So as you can see, it's default is date, it shows baseball, it shows the Olympics, you know. Well, there's a lot of baseball going on, yeah? There's cycling. So there's all different sports. As I go down, the time, the, the time goes farther into the future. Baseball, soccer, rugby, you know. Now keep in mind, you have to have these channels that it's playing on, okay? If you don't have that channel in your package, you won't get it. But it's just showing you what it is, okay? Golf, as you can see, that's by date. Now I can go all the way back up and see the beginning again. Uh, and that's the date okay, section. If so I go to the left, I can actually go by sport. Just press select on it. And then when I'm in the sport, I can go to whatever I want. So if I want to see, you know, NBA. Okay, all. Oh. oh, you know why? NBA season's out, right? So there's nothing there. That's why there's nothing on NBA. But if I want to go to something like, say I like UFC. I like UFC a lot. I can go to UFC, mixed martial arts, and it'll tell you what's coming up. Certain fights that are live for free on Fox Sports and certain ones are um, you know like UFC 201 that's a pay-per-view event you know well that already happened actually but it, it'll show you what's coming up okay basically all the different sports here and if you go down to more sports it'll go even to more like more finer fine-tuned sports yeah? as you can see boxing fishing it's almost any sports you can think of MMA you know you can see all the different stuff so like I put MMA so there's some extra these this is like a channel that it's not UFC, it's other MMA. So it's pretty comprehensive, very simple to use. Um, and that's pretty much what sums it up. Uh, the info button, okay? Oh, one more thing I have to go before I show you about the info button. Um, along with on-demand movies, all that stuff like that. If you wanna see the on-demand, you can press select. Um, if you wanna see what movies are free, you can go to movies and then you just press free movies. And I have a whole listing of what kind of movies you wanna see. Now keep in mind, when you go to the free movies, these are not pay-per-view, they're literally free. You actually do have to have that channel. So if you don't have the channel, then you're not gonna be able to watch it, right? So if you have that channel in your package, it's free. It's not pay-per-view, it's not six bucks, it's not 13 bucks. So this is just showing you um, some of the, the movies that are, you know, if you have these channels, you can watch it on MGM or whatever it is, Sony or, you know, certain movie channels. Now when I go back, um, just to show you again, um, also, there's a 4K selection. Uh, we don't have a connection now, but just to show you a few of the listings, the 4K selection is updated like every week, okay? Every single week. So there's older movies, 4K remastered, and then there's also newer ones, like 13 Hours, it just came out on Blu-ray. And some of the movies are in the theater. The prices range from about $3.99 up to $13, four bucks to $13, depending how new or old it is, okay? And of course, if you get the same movie 4K, but you order the 1080 one, it's gonna be 1080, but it's gonna be cheaper, okay? 
the 4K costs a little more, but it looks exactly like the theater, which is here. If you don't know, theater is all broadcasting 4K. So these are all like the movies you can go down, and they always updated. Some are educational, you know. Some are newer movies. Some are older ones, you know, that came out years ago. But it's an extensive list, okay, and it's, it keeps growing and growing. So that's the 4K stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the main menu. Uh, just kind of summed up. I'm just gonna get out and basically show you what the info does. So the info button is a really easy button to use. Um, it's info info, right? You just press info, and what it does is it shows what channel you're on. It shows the time of the show, the rating. It's a movie or if it's a show. Um, this is a movie, it says movie, right? It tells you what genre it is, action adventure, the year. And it tells you like it's high def and who's in it, the main actors, and a brief synopsis. If I want more info, this is in blue now. I just press select, it'll blow it up and it have more info, okay? I mean, not a lot more, but it has some more info, okay? So that's the information uh, um, button. Now, if I was at a show, so let's say I go to, I'm just gonna go to Food Network because they pretty much run shows all day, right? If I go to a show, basically, basically when you're on Food Network, it'll, you press info, it'll show you the show, the times, the rating, and it'll show season 18, episode 12, okay? Yeah, yeah all right. And it basically has a synopsis of the show. South of the border, you guys probably heard of Diner Drive-Ins and Dives, the guy who eats everywhere. It tells you what year, what season, what episode, and what it, what it encounters. So there's like an episode on Hawaii, or say in Hawaii, Maui, or whatever. Okay, so that's one of the features of info I really like. Um, when you press info, there also have messages from DirecTV, information about the show, closed caption options. What is closed caption options? If I press closed caption with select, it'll have the closed captions that are standard. So this show is closed caption, that's normal closed caption. It's black and white. So the black blacks out all this. So sometimes it doesn't matter it's small but sometimes if it's a lot of talking like news there's a lot if you ever watch cnn it's like a lot of talking it blacks out the screen and it's kind of ugly okay well direct tv has a special feature that most companies don't have they have the direct tv subtitles so if i go black to closed caption i press direct tv you'll notice it has the same subtitles but it's not blacked out when they start talking you'll see it's going to be yellow and i like this a lot better because you don't have to see the blackout so you, it doesn't cover the screen but if you want the black border and you you don't want to watch, you don't mind missing some of the show, then you can go to the regular closed captioning. Um, just to show you an example of when you go to news, a lot of times there's a lot of talking. So when you go to channel 202, which is CNN, it keeps going and going and going. So the whole time you're gonna see, you know, big black stuff covering the screen. This is a situation where I don't like the regular closed caption. I actually want to go to direct TV subtitles and it's yellow. I can still read it clearly, I mean, I'm, but it just doesn't black it out, yeah? Now, along with the info, um, you can just turn it off if I don't wanna see it. The other feature is your last four. That's the last four channels I visited, and if you guys were watching, I went to the On Demand, I went to the 4K, I went to Jaws, and then I'm, um, that diner's drive-in show with Guy, and now I'm on CNN. Favorites, you can program your favorites, you can set it up on your own, uh, that takes a little more time, um, but that's standard. This shows you the format. If you have Dolby Digital, you want to select this. So that means that your box has Dolby, um, the boxes we give you, the minis and the full size box, they're all Dolby Digital encoded. It has capability to play surround sound. So if the way Dolby Digital works is very important. Not everything is Dolby Digital. If I watch Channel 2 News with Joe Moore, local news, it's only stereo, okay? It's because they broadcast stereo. DirecTV cannot magically make it in surround sound. It's not gonna be real surround sound, but it's like Walking Dead, if it's movie on HBO, Cinemax, then those shows, it'll say in surround sound where available on the bottom or on the beginning of the show. That means that that network, HBO or AMC, they're broadcasting that specific show or movie in Dolby Digital Surround Sound. So because it's broadcasted that way, if you have DirecTV, you get it. Some companies like say Time Warner, you won't get the full surround sound, you just get stereo. Because, and that's the reason why it says where available. Because even though they shoot it out in Dolby Surround Sound, if the company cannot provide it without enough bandwidth, then you don't get it, okay? But we give it to you. So all you gotta do, press info, go to audio, click on that, Dolby Digital, and you just plug in your surround system on the back of the box with the optical quack. So just like, if you guys know how to start set it up a surround sound, that's all you do, it's just super simple. Um, and finishing it out, audio, video, um, parental, this is if you wanna lock it. I'm not gonna go through in depth, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then PIP is picture in picture. This is a cool feature. Just keep in mind that the Genie Mini boxes don't have picture in picture. 
The only box that has picture in picture is the big genie box, the main one, like that big. Um, the other ones have the same channels, everything the same. It, the only thing that's different is that it, the big box can do picture in picture. So what is picture in picture? I can press on and I'm gonna do side by side. So because it's widescreen, they cannot make it perfectly in the middle because it'll cover, it'll cut off some of the screen. So I was watching this and then this. So this is the way it works. It shows the, the channels that was last on and you can hear the one on the left that's bigger, okay? I can change the channel on the left. So if I go, that's CNN, if I want to watch Food Network, I press 231, it'll go to Food Network. Now once it's on Food Network, here on the left, that's the one you're going to hear. You can only view this, okay? As you can see. But if I want to hear this, all I have to do is tap down. And what it's going to do, it's going to flip the channels so that I don't hear the Food Network, but I can hear what was on the other side. That's how you change it. You can only change the one on the left side that's bigger. So if you want to leave this here, I can leave it. If I want to hear the Food Network, I press that. But when I want to change the channel, the one on the left that's bigger that you're hearing, that's the one you can change, okay? So that's how that works. Now, the other option is if I want to get out, I can just show you a couple examples. You go up the left, this is up the left. You're actually missing some of the show. So you're seeing a high def small picture upper left, but you know, you're missing this, right? So it depends if you, you like it like that. That's the reason why I put side by side. Um, if I want to go here, I can go lower right. Lower right. So it's pretty self explanatory. But we usually leave it side by side. You don't miss any of the show. And you can put any two channels on picture in picture. It's not, you know, set. But I'm going to just turn it off for now. And that pretty much sums it up, okay?